Hello and welcome to our fifth tutorial on Urban Design Software Tool Modeler. In this video we'll be talking about the parameters hierarchy, which is something that you don't find in other software. Once you understand the concept, it really simplifies the designing process and helps you deliver your urban design projects faster. To understand how hierarchy of parameters works, let's first take a look at this image, which can be found in our user guide. For the sake of example, it is simplified and it only shows land uses and number of stories, but concept is the same for all other parameters too. It's called parameters hierarchy because parameters can be set on different levels. Hierarchy works on bottom-up approach, which means that parameters set on lower, more specific object overrides the parameters set on higher, more general level. So the whole plot is the highest level and all parameters set here will become default and applied to the whole model, namely city blocks and buildings. Below whole plot is city block level and parameters overloaded here will apply to every building that is located on it. The bottom level is building and parameters set here will apply only to selected buildings. All newly created buildings will use the default whole plot parameters. If we place a building on a city block with different parameter values, or if it's created on a city block, it will accept those parameters. In other words, city block parameters will take precedence over the whole plot parameters and building will change its height or land use. When we move building away from city block, it will adapt back to default parameters of the whole plot. But if we set parameters for specific building, those will override city block parameters and whole plot parameters. So if we move it on and off the city block, nothing about the building will change, except the parameters that have default values. The parameters set for the city block or building that override default whole plot parameters are called overloaded parameters. Here we also left out complex buildings, which follows the same concept and are in the hierarchy between city block and buildings. Let's now go to SketchUp to see how this works on a live model. As you see in the whole plot tab, the default building height is 4 floors. Since the building will be created in the origin of coordinate system, where there is no city block, it will use the default parameters. Let's now click create building and as you see it really has 4 stories and residential land use. Now let's check the parameters of the city block. The parameters where checkbox is marked are set specially for the city block. Others not marked and with text in grey are inherited from the whole plot. So land use is set to service and number of stories to 6. When we move building to the city block, it will immediately change its number of stories and land use. That's because building first check parameters from the city block. Only if they are not set, it will look up further to the default parameters of the whole plot. Let's now make another building, but this time we will go to the building tab and change land use to industry and number of stories to 8. Now the building parameters are overloaded. That means that they will not change wherever we move it. For example, if we move a building on the city block, it will not change the parameters as it was the case with previous building. This gives us the flexibility to efficiently model the development however we want. So this is how the hierarchy of parameters in Modular works. If you click on the link, you can open Modular user guide or you have this picture and some additional explanation in case you need to understand some details better. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please just drop us an email. See you later.